So Christine, uh, who exactly is this book for? I would say this book is for two people, two groups of people. Young children who are learning how to pray in all of the ways that we have as in our Catholic tradition to pray. Uh, but it's also for parents because parents don't always know all the different options that they can present to their children in terms of prayer. And sometimes parents are a little bit even uncomfortable teaching their children how to pray because maybe they haven't had such a rich prayer life themselves. So I'm hoping that it will help both children and their parents. That's wonderful. Thank you. So uh, what do you hope to achieve with this book? Our tradition is so rich with prayer forms. Uh, it's one of the things I love about being Catholic. Um, but uh, we don't always use them all. We don't always present them all to everyone. And so what I really hope that this book is going to do is give parents so many options of how to pray with their children so that they can find what works in their families, what works with their children's personalities, what works with their own family personalities, and pass on a really rich tradition for their children so that they can always find a way to pray. Uh, are there any personal experiences that influenced you in the writing of this specific book? There were two, tradi two things that happened to me. One was, when I was a little girl, I wanted to pray so badly, and I never felt like I was praying properly. I never felt like I was getting it quite right, although I did have some really wonderful experiences of prayer, especially with my great-grandmother. She prayed with me a lot. Um, but I struggled to find just the right way to pray. And when I was uh, studying theology, I took a course called um, uh, Traditions of Prayer. And what we did, first of all, was a personality test, and we had to find out what would work best with our personality and we looked at all the different ways that we pray in our tradition and we matched them to our personality and all of a sudden i was liberated to realize i could pray with art i could pray with music i could pray with dance i could pray by walking i could pray by thinking i could pray by journaling and um i realized that sometimes as catholics we don't always imagine all these possibilities even though they're really a big part of our tradition so i really wanted to pass that on to families so uh that they could be sort of liberated to find what was magnificent in our tradition as I was when I took that wonderful course and um, so that was a really uh, big reason why I thought this was going to be a great project to work on and so I really hope that that is uh, value to families. That's um, in my family my children are adopted and we represent 13 different ethnic groups and so it's always been really important to me to make sure that my children see themselves represented in literature, in art, and one of the things that's really beautiful about this book is almost every child can find themselves here somewhere. So regardless of their race, regardless of their gender, regardless of what kind of a family they come from, uh, they're going to see themselves here, and I think that's really important because our church is really, as James Joyce says, here comes everybody, and so everybody should be able to see themselves, and I think you'll really find that in these books.